Hi YouTube, it's me, Danny, and today I'm in Armenia! It's my first time to visit Armenia. This is my 76th country to visit. I'm very excited to be here. I'm excited to add a new country to my list. I am very fortunate that this month I had a few days off and with Emirates, one of my favorite things about being cabin crew is that we get a discount on not only Emirates flights, but many other airlines. So that's why I decided to travel somewhere new on my days off. I've only got three days to explore Armenia, but I took a flight with Fly Dubai. So I took the flight from Dubai to Yerevan, which is the capital of Armenia. Um, so it was very easy. It only took about three hours. And now I'm in a new country. I have a few days to explore this beautiful place. So stick around if you wish to see a few amazing things that you can do here in Armenia. Obviously, it's not everything that you can do here because I don't have so much time to explore all the things there are to do, but I'm going to try and do as much as I can in the little time that I have here. So let's go. This is my hotel. I'm doing a tour, so I'll share my tour guide's details in the information below. Um, so if you're ever in Armenia, feel free to hit up Razmig and he'll take care of you. Um, he picked me up from the airport and he's made everything super easy for me. He's organized a tour according to what I enjoy doing and trying to fit in as much as possible in the short time that I have. This is a ark which was named after a famous writer who used to come to this spot to get inspiration for poems and his writing because it has such a beautiful view. Now I've arrived at Ghani Temple which you can see behind me. It's the only pagan temple that's left in Armenia and it has uh, Roman and Greek architecture. Um, it was founded in the first century AD. Stones, which was one of the natural wonders here in Armenia and it's named the, the Symphony of Stones because as you can see behind me there's like a huge pile of rocks they've fallen due to the ground movement or earthquakes and it's left this beautiful pattern in the rocks above if you look closely it kind of resembles an organ um, from an old piano so I think that's where the symphony part comes from it's quite artistic but it's a natural occurrence so it's completely thanks to mother nature that we have these beautiful rock formations and people just coming here I see a family they're having a picnic um, this is really beautiful. It's such a nice day. Nice to come here for a walk and you have a river right beside it. So very nice place to come if you're over in Armenia. So I'll introduce you to my tour guide, Razmi. Hello. It's a good time to visit Armenia. Hope to see you soon. Why should people come to Armenia? Well, during the fall, it's a good time to visit the country and there are so many places to discover. 
uh, they can see so many beautiful landscapes, natural phenomena, such as the Symphony of Stones that we've seen so far. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful in the winter, in the summer, and all season long. So Armenia is actually the first Christian country in the whole world. So Christianity is a big, big part of Armenia's history. And you see that because there's so many monasteries around the whole country. So now I've arrived at the Monastery of Gerard, which is also a translation to the Monastery of the Spear. It's the Gerard, the spear was here. It was hidden inside the cave. Named it the Monastery of the Spear because they actually found hidden inside the spear that was used to stab Jesus when he was being crucified on the cross. So now the monastery has been labelled a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What a cute spot for dinner. Barbecue pork, barbecue potato. Another interesting thing that I found out about Armenia is that chess is the number one sport here. So it's actually compulsory for the kids in school to learn how to play chess and the Armenians compete in the Olympics, uh, nearly everyone in the country can play chess. It's a very, very, very big part of the culture. So I find that really fascinating because I don't think I've been anywhere in the world where chess is the number one sport. Coming from Melbourne, where, you know, I guess the number one sport in Melbourne is the AFL, the Aussie rules. It's our form of football. Having chess as the number one sport is complete opposite to that. So my first stop of the tour today is the Savanavank Monastery, which is located at Savan Lake. is you can go for a boat cruise along the lake it's so beautiful I had such a nice day today blue skies and the water is very calm so this is really nice the lavash which is the traditional Armenian bread and it's basically white bread but pulled as you can see so it's very long and this is how it's traditionally made Diligen Deer Park. This is a governmental project and it's here to protect the deers because they are becoming extinct. So they take them and they breed them and they leave them here for about one to two years and then release them into the wild. So at the moment there's 26 deers. They had eight babies this past year. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's many drinkable water fountains in Armenia. And they're all over the country and it's fresh waters from the mountains. The honey house. I stopped by this place to try some local handmade honey and jams. After that, it was time for lunch at this beautiful cafe on the lake. And if that wasn't enough food, I stopped by the side of the road for a juicy corn, a diligent specialty. It's very hot. Mm. And I thought I would just add, I'm walking the streets. Um, it's about, I think it's 9 p.m. I just wanted to buy a few things. And I have to say, I feel so safe here. I just had a conversation with a girl in one of the shops and everyone is so friendly and nice and if you're ever thinking about traveling solo to Armenia, I highly encourage that you do it because I felt completely safe the moment I arrived. It's such an amazing time here in Armenia. I just, I love these hidden gems, you know. I feel like a lot of people don't explore this part of the world, which is such a shame because it's so beautiful. The population is only 3 million. Because of that, you have so much beautiful land um, that's just not occupied by humans. So many trees and mountains. And I was just blown away by how much beauty there is in this country. So much nature, so much natural produce. I've seen so many fruit trees. They grow a lot of fruit here, um, which is why they're very famous for their dried fruits, wine, you don't see this coming from a western country where I feel like you know wherever there's land they just put a slab of concrete on top of it and just build a new high rise even in Dubai it's like this so when you come to these countries that are more untouched more natural it feels really great and it just it makes me think that maybe this is the way that it should be much as it is fun living in Dubai um, it's nice just to get a sense of realness every now and then and I'm so fortunate that this job gives me the opportunity to do that. I get a little bit of everything. I can live in Dubai in this big city and then I can travel um, on my layovers and days off to places that have more nature. So I'm very lucky in that regard. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had an amazing time filming it. Had an amazing time in Armenia. I just love it here. I wish I could spend more time, but unfortunately I need to go back to work. Um, but if you wish to see more travel videos from me, then make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm always traveling on my layovers, on my days off. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button and you'll see a lot more travel vlogs from me.